Hi guys, I hope that you are all doing really well under the current circumstances. Um, today I want to share with you a haul of a bunch of different stuff for around the house. There's even some apparel items that I've done online shopping. I mean, ev even without the situation, I've always been mostly an online shopping kind of girl. Um, it's just, I rarely like to leave the house, to be honest. So I'm definitely a homebody, but um, most of this did come from Wayfair. Let's see, some things from Amazon Prime, but actually mostly from Wayfair. Um, also, don't forget to use Ebates. Uh, it's my favorite, not e I keep saying Ebates, but it's technically Rakuten now, um, but it was formerly known as Ebates. The rules though, the payout, none of that has actually changed at all, just their name changed. But if you're going to do any online shopping, make sure that you go through Ebates. See, it's like, it's like a habit now. Um, make sure you go through Rakuten first and that way you like get cash back for the stores that you shop at. I've been doing this for years now and I really wish I would have known about them because they've been around for a while. Not all stores are on Rakuten, but sometimes they will appear. So make sure that every time you online shop that you just go back and check. You just go to Rakuten, type in the store. If it's there, you click shop and it will create a ticket and it takes you. Like it automatically takes your browser to that place. So whether, you know, it's Macy's or JCPenney or Lululemon or Amazon, it will just take you straight to the website and it creates this ticket in the background. And then once you complete your purchase, it adds whatever cash back that you were going to get from that store. And then they cut you a check every quarter. I've been doing this every quarter. I have gotten a check. Um, well, I, I get a direct deposit to my PayPal is how I signed up for it, but you can have them send you an actual check in the mail if you want to. There's no gimmicks. You don't pay any fee. Like there's just, there's just nothing. They just ask how you want to be paid. You give them your address or your PayPal information and that's it. So I'll drop a sign up link down below for you guys. So make sure, like I said, that what, whenever you're online shopping, you just go to Rakuten and check because um, they did that with Lululemon. It was like super tricky. I once checked um, if Lululemon was available and they weren't. And then last Christmas, I was just like, you know what? Let me just double check. And guess what? Lululemon was there and I was just like, yes, enough of that. Let's go ahead and dive into this haul. So let's go ahead and focus on the upstairs media room and the, the, the bathroom that's kind of associated to it. I'm actually going to be decorating in a farmhouse modern style, which is not really my style, but I've kind of been getting into it. I thought it would be fun to do that upstairs. So I'm going to be doing a white and black industrial farmhouse look up there. So with that in mind, I went ahead and got some bathroom towels, nothing fancy. Um, it's actually a six, a pack or a set of six. You get two washcloths, two hand and two bath. And this is exactly what I wanted. The white with the black, it's just very modern, very clean. So those are the towels for the upstairs guest bath. Now people won't be showering in there hardly ever. Um, so I didn't get that many towels for that reason. Then I got a shower curtain, which I'm obsessed with a shower curtain, but I'm going to go ahead and throw up a picture because I realize looking at it here, it's just going to be impossible to get like the overall feel, but it actually has this little like detail and it's like shaped almost like in a chevron type pattern and that's what I wanted. I wanted just a plain basic white shower curtain but it's fabric so it's really nice. It has that texture there and then the print is also very monochromatic and I'm also going to do pops of green in this bathroom and I'm going to be doing some Dollar Tree DIYs which I hope it turns out as great as I think it will so stay tuned for that because it's going to be super cute. Also, I got a shower curtain rod, but it's still in this huge box from Amazon. So that is from Amazon Prime. And the shower curtain rod is black. And I also got one for my daughter. I think it was like a... I don't know what style I got her, but it's not shiny. But it kind of has like a silvery look to it. Um, she needed a shower curtain rod as well. 
plus I got her some shower hook rings which were really cool I think I got them from I don't know if where I think I got them from Amazon Prime I believe yeah I think it was Amazon Prime and I found them to be really cool because they have a double hook so you can add the liner by itself to one hook and then the shower curtain to one hook and I was just like wow that's really cool I've never actually seen one of those uh, so I got her the hooks because she needed them and then I also got her a new shower curtain because we're going to be redecorating her room and bathroom like I said and I'll throw up a picture too of the one that she ch picked. It's really cute, very, it's going to have a bohemian butterfly look to it. Um, so far we've only picked out the shower curtain but it's really cute. So for now, that's it for the bathroom section. Now let's dive into the upstairs media room. Again, going with that black and white modern farmhouse feel, I picked out some um, pillow covers. You can see the print. It's pretty basic, nothing too wild. So I got two of those, and I have pillows, so hopefully those will fit some. And then here is this decorative pillow. Hopefully it shows up nice on camera. It's kind of, there we go. Has a chevron -y look to it and the black and white. It's going to be the center decorative pillow, but I'm not done with pillows up there. I really want to actually go in store. I want to go to the at-home store or home goods for more pillows, but can't leave the house. So, you know, that's just going to have to wait. Um, but I did like those obviously enough to order them online. Oh, I forgot one product for the guest bathroom. It is this trash can, but it's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one from Dollar Tree. They have like a black little basket and I'm going to use that. And then I think I'm going to use this maybe somewhere else, but I don't know, but it's a very nice basket. Maybe it'll go in the media room. Maybe the media room needs a little trash can, you know? Um, okay, next up is actually a lamp. So I'm just gonna throw up a picture because I it's still in the box and I haven't even put it together. But I wanted a black lamp for the game room. And I loved this one from Wayfair because it was all black, the base, the shade. And I thought that it just looked super chic, so. And, but I also, I thought it was going to be a lot bigger than this, so there's a chance I might get a second one. Alright, the next thing is actually for, now we're traveling downstairs into living room, my bedroom, and then some clothes I got for myself. So this next thing is a blanket. Also, I really should have probably just waited, you know, for all of this to be over, but I saw this blanket because I, I didn't even finish that sentence. I should have waited for the quarantine situation to be over so that I can buy my blankets from like Home Goods or somewhere like that. Actually see it in store. Um, but I saw this one on Wayfair and I really, really loved it. It's yellow and actually the camera's washing it out completely. It looks pastel to you guys, but it's it's a it's a nice, good sunshine yellow. Now, I'm very excited to be redoing my master bedroom. If you've been with me for a while, you know that I have redecorated that freaking room just all the time. And not because I'm bored, but because I just am trying to find that style that just speaks to me. But I got a new bedspread. And honestly, the bedspread's not even gonna be able to give it away, so I don't mind showing the bedspread. But you know what? I'm actually gonna throw up a picture because again, it's just hard for you guys to see this. But it's white, it's very simple, and it has a little bit of ruffle detail. And that's exactly what I was going for. I actually got a second comforter because I'm gonna double up. Plus, the weight also helps my restless leg syndrome situation, so I don't mind having layers and layers of bedding. It's never bothered me or made me hot. So um, I got a second comforter set, which is so beautiful. Um, I'll throw up a picture of that as well. And I'm very excited about it. Plus I got new sheets, again, just white, plain. Um, and I'll, I'll link everything down below. There's no affiliate links for me with Wayfair, so just FYI, this is just to be helpful for you guys. There there are affiliate links with Amazon, um, but not Wayfair. 
I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to throw up a picture of. Now, the sheet set and the other comforter set, I don't have with me because I don't get them for another couple of days. Um, and then, yeah, everything else, you know, the curtain rods are in a box and, and her stuff is up there. All right, let's move into just two pieces of random decor I bought online, but because it's an online haul, I thought I'd include it. But I got a bathing suit from Walmart dot com it's this cute little bandeau and it does have like a built-in little bra thing so the support is really nice it's a medium however online it looked yellow and it's orange so the color definitely looks different in person than what it was online at least i thought it was for some reason i thought i was getting yellow but I didn't. They also have a hot pink and I was going to return it and just get the hot pink, but I don't think I can, re re I think we're in that no return thing now. So I think I'm just kind of stuck with this. It is high waisted. It's really, really cute. And it is workout apparel. And let me tell you, I don't know why I didn't jump on the Fabletics bandwagon because it's so good. The products, in my opinion, are just as good, if not better, than Lululemon. Lululemon, you get one thing for like $1,000. Like, let's just call it what it is. And with Fabletics, if you sign up, um, and I'll drop a sign-up link for you guys down below too. It's, and I think, I forget what the cost is, but you get like a whole outfit for that for your subscription price and then if you don't want to get something every month then all you do is skip like the next month and then they don't charge you and you can just keep spending or keep skipping or you can even like suspend um so that you don't have to like keep skipping um but let me tell you you guys know that i love workout stuff and when i was buying it from forever 21 it was like 20 dollars for a bottom $20 for a top so that ended up being like $40 which is the same subscription price basically as Fabletics but the stuff at Fabletics is one cuter two it's the fabric is so good and so breathable but anyway I've been holding this up and you're like just show me the freaking outfit but these are the workout pants I'll also throw up a picture of the model so that you can just see how cute it is everything that I, I think I, I think everything can be linked down below right yeah everything from Wayfair Prime yeah so I will link everything down below for you in case you're interested and the signups for Rakuten and Fabletics, hopefully I remember through editing. Rakuten is always linked down below. That's just always there. But um, anyway, that's it for my online shopping haul. Um, even though I'm like a super huge homebody, um, and like I said, I, I just love to just stay home and when I buy things, I just buy it online. But it it is kind of, it's kind of odd. It's different. What's going on is really different. And I hope that you guys all stay safe and healthy and come back tomorrow for Sunday's video when I'm going to be organizing the kitchen for Dollar Tree stuff. So hopefully I'll see you guys there. Bye.